Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello students, this is my ninth lecture and the topic of today's discussion is gift that is called as Hiba in Muslim law. So in this lecture I would like to explain the concept of Hiba, the nature of Hiba, subject matter of Hiba, essential element of gift and I would also cover the transfer of property act i will try to make comparison a comparative study <coughs> between muslim law and the transfer of property act section 122 so how muslim gift are different from common gift provided in section 122 of the transfer of property act so in this coming session i would like to highlight those important areas which have been discussed in transfer of property act gift as you might be knowing that that gift is covered or regulated by section 122 of the transfer of property act 1882 but in this lecture i would like to make a comparative chart or i would like to give you brief introduction about common gift and gift made by muslims so firstly i would like to discuss the concept of gift, Muslim gift that is known as Hiba and essential element of gift. So with the help of this slide, I would like to give brief introduction of Muslim gift. So you can look at this. You see gift in Muslim law is called as Hiba. So as you all might be knowing that gift is a gratuitous transfer gift is a transfer of ownership in a property without consideration by a living person to another living person so that is called as inter vivos transfer by living person to another living person and the most important thing is that property is transferred by one person to another person without consideration if consideration is if something is paid in lieu of gifted in lieu of property which is transferred that would amount sale, exchange, mortgage, whatever transaction may be referred sale, mortgage but that transaction cannot be treated as uh, that transaction cannot be treated as gift in Muslim law. So the first important thing is that property is transferred without uh, consideration and I just want to explain this with the help of this slide so you see as i said hiba is a transfer of ownership in a property without consideration by one living person to another living person so the transferer is known as a donor and the person in whose favor property is transferred that is known as doni you you can see on the on your screen you see donor and doni donor is a person who makes a gift and doni is a person in whose favor property is gifted in under muslim law that donor has to make an offer that offer is known as ijab that is declaration of the gift by donor so donor has to make muslim donor has to make an offer that he is willing to gift his property that is known as ijab and the person in whose favor property is to be gifted that person is called doni so donor and doni must be in position to understand the nature and consequences of the act which donor has to make isab that make a declaration make an offer that he is willing to make gift to the doni so that offer in muslim law is in arabic word is known as ijab and that offer is accepted the acceptance of that offer is known as kabul in arabic word and once property is delivered 
the position of that property is delivered that is known as kabda as i have already you see kab q a b d a kabda delivery of position so there are three important component of muslim gift donor doni and kabza delivery of position so as i said donor has to make an offer that he is going to make gift in favor of doni so here izab or offer is declaration of will desire that he is going to transfer his property by way of gift so there are certain requirement for a valid gift as you might be knowing that section 122 of the transfer of property act talks about gift so that provision is not applicable to muslim gift why the reason behind non application of section 122 of the transfer of property act to this muslim gift is this gift muslim gift comes within ambit of section 2 of the sharia act 1937 so section 2 of the sharia act talks about 10 subject matters which can only be regulated by muslim personal law and gift is one important component prescribed in section 2 of the sharia act maintenance marriage dower gift so all these 10 subject matter can only be regulated by muslim personal law not by any other law enacted by the legislature so you need to remember this thing so because of that section 2 of the sharia act the common gift or section 122 of the transfer of property act would not be applicable to this muslim gift this is very clear and you need to understand this in the beginning only then you all would be in position to understand the concept of gift muslim gift so now now come to the next next important thing which which is important uh, in under muslim law as you all might be knowing that any property can be transferred by uh, two ways by either by inter vivos transfer by transfer of property inter vivos by one living person to another living person and once property is transferred by one living person to another living person and it becomes the transaction becomes effective ownership is transferred and that transaction becomes effective that is known as gift second is transferer may transfer his property by making by executing an ex, an instrument so that is known as testamentary transfer testamentary transfer is that transfer where property is transferred by way of an instrument with a condition that after the death of transferer property will go to the transferee that person in favor of that person to whom transferer wants to transfer that property so that is known as transfer uh, testamentary transfer non non testamentary transfer where a person who dies without making an without making uh, without executing a instrument without uh, executing a deed or document if he dies then legal heirs of that person would get property after the death of that person that is known as succession so any property can be transferred by three ways by three different ways the first way is by inter vivos by one living person to another living person second is by testamentary transfer by executing uh, test by executing a testamentary instrument by that way a property can be transferred by one person to another person so where property is transferred by executing an instrument and transferee would get that property after the death of transferer that is known as testamentary transfer and that is the best example of testamentary transfer is wasiyat will so in will will maker has to declare his intention that he is going to uh, transfer his property and after the death of uh, legator after the death of testator will maker property would go to the that person Be before the death of legator that transferee cannot get that property so he will have to wait that is known as testamentary transfer and non testamentary transfer that is uh, generally rule of succession suppose if person dies then after the death of that person his son or daughter they will inherit the property after the death so that is and that 
इन दैट केस रूल ऑफ सक्सेशन और इनहेरिटेंस वुड बी अप्लीकेबल सो हियर वेयर डॉक्यूमेंट हैज बीन वेयर प्रॉपर्टी इज ट्रांसफर्ड बाई वे ऑफ एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट इट मीन्स द ओनर ऑफ दैट प्रॉपर्टी हैज put restriction upon the devolution of property means that property that property would be distributed among legal heirs as per the wishes of the owner of that property and suppose if owner of that property has transferred property in favor of a stranger unknown person so that even stranger will get share in that property along with legal heirs along with son or daughter so this is another aspect of testamentary right but on the other hand if in gift where property is transferred by way of gift donee will get absolute property the property which donor has transferred in favor of donee immediately just after the completion of the transaction so this thing uh, you, which you need to remember section 122 section 122 of the transfer of property act and muslim gift so under muslim law donor has to make an offer is of that offer is accepted by doni that is kabul and property is delivered that is known as qabza with the help of this chart you all would be in position to have complete understanding about uh, gift now come to another aspect of gift you see Muslim law doesn't prescribe any specific format of hiba gift. Gift may be in oral or it may be in writing. If gift is in writing, then if deed is signed, if doni wants to transfer, wants to make gift by executing a deed by 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 signing a deed, then the deed is known as gift deed in English. In Arabic word, that deed is known as hiba nama. so nama here means deed gift deed in arabic word that is known as hiba nama so where hiba nama is where property is transferred by donor to the donee by way of hiba nama it would be always beneficial for both the parties donee can get the property with the help of that content of the hiba nama here now come to essential element essential condition of valid hiba so there are three important elements of a valid hiba the first is declaration of gift by donor donor will have to make a declaration that which property he is going to transfer by way of gift second is acceptance donee must accept the transaction the donee must accept the property which donor is willing to gift and third is delivery of possession so these are three important element of a valid hiba valid gift but question may arise that who may be competent donor what are the essential condition for a valid uh, donor any muslim can make a gift or there are certain requirement to be valid uh, to a competent donor so you you see donor now come to this first element of gift i would like to discuss one by one the as i said there are three important element of hiba first is competency of donor donor must be competent on the date of making the gift so i have all i have made an attempt to reach to your mind with the help of this slide you can see on your screen that uh, competency of donor there are three important essential there are three requirement to become a competent donor the first is the donor must be adult adult here means the donor must have attained the age of majority and age of majority for purpose of gift in muslim law is 18 years he must be above 18 second important is thing is that donor must be muslim on the date of making the gift and third is he must be sane 
द डोनर मस्ट बी ऑफ साउंड माइंड ही मस्ट बी इन पोजिशन टू अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ हिज एक्ट वॉट ही इज गोइंग टू डू वॉट ही इज गोइंग टू मेक वॉट वॉट सो एटलीस्ट ही मस्ट बी इन पोजिशन टू अंडरस्टैंड द नेचर एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ हिज एक्ट सो सैनिटी ही मस्ट बी सेन ही मस्ट बी ऑफ साउंड माइंड दिस इज थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट सो इन कॉमन गिफ्ट एनी पर्सन कैन कैन बी अ डोनर आइदर मुस्लिम सेक्शन वन ट्वेंटी टू ऑफ द ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी एक्ट डजेंट टाक अबाउट रिलीजन ऑफ द डोनर बट हियर मुस्लिम लॉ इट ओनली टॉक्स अबाउट द रिलीजन ऑफ द डोनर डोनर मस्ट बी नेसेसरली अ मुस्लिम सो मुस्लिम डोनर हु इज एडल्ट इन आई ऑफ मुस्लिम लॉ इन आई ऑफ मुस्लिम लॉ एंड इफ ही इज ऑफ साउंड माइंड और सी इज ऑफ साउंड माइंड देन ओनली देन ही कैन मेक अ गिफ्ट ऑन द अदर हैंड एनी पर्सन कैन मेक अ गिफ्ट ऑफ हिज प्रॉपर्टी एज पर द मैंडेट ऑफ सेक्शन वन ट्वेंटी टू ऑफ द ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी एक्ट एटीन एटी टू देर इज नो रेस्ट्रिक्शन अबाउट रिलीजन ऑफ द सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मुस्लिम गिफ्ट एंड कॉमन गिफ्ट वॉट इज द डिफरेंस इट इज द रिलीजन ऑफ द डोनर विच मेक्स सब्सटेंशियल डिफरेंस बिटवीन हिबा एंड कॉमन गिफ्ट सो दिस इज वन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ मुस्लिम गिफ्ट विच यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड डोनर मस्ट बी ऑलवेज मुस्लिम सो ओनली देन मुस्लिम पर्सनल लॉ वुड बी एप्लीकेबल फॉर दैट हिबा फॉर दैट मुस्लिम गिफ्ट नाउ कम टू सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट दीज थिंग्स आर नेसेसरी साइने को ऑन ऑन फॉर अ वैलिड हिबा एंड द सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट द डोनर मस्ट बी ओनर ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी ऑन द डेट ऑफ मेकिंग द गिफ्ट ही मस्ट बी एब्सलूट ओनर ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी to which he is going to transfer by way of gift without having ownership over the property if donor makes a gift that that gift is no gift in i of law and donee will get nothing from the donor so this is also important element that donor must have absolute ownership over the property which he is going to transfer by way of gift so i have tried to connect this muslim gift to the with the provision of transfer of property act you can see on your screen that uh, section 6 of the transfer of property act as you all might be knowing that section 6 6 of the transfer of property act talks about property which cannot be transferred so all those properties which cannot be transferred by one person to another person will also be covered under this muslim uh, muslim law so no muslim donor can transfer that property which is in possession of government the government is if government is having possession over the property that property cannot be transferred even by the muslim donor first thing second important thing is that property which is not in existence on the date of making the gift so that property cannot be transferred by donor to the donee so that property must be in existence on the date of making the gift this is pre condition precedent or pre condition to make a gift by muslim donor future property cannot be subject matter of gift similarly future property cannot be subject matter of muslim gift hiba so no muslim male can transfer no muslim donor can transfer that property that future property which he would get in future for example a muslim muslim son his father is still alive so before the death of his father that muslim son cannot transfer the property of his father by way of gift so this is this is the example of future property though that son would get property after the death of his father he he would get absolute ownership in that property after the death of father but before his death before the death of father that muslim son cannot make a gift of that property over which his father is 
having position so this is <coughs> important aspect of future property cannot be subject matter of riba so <coughs> another important aspect of gift is the property which is space succession is another example property which would be inherited by uh, by a person after the death of father or grandfather so that property cannot be subject matter of gift similarly so meaning to say that whatever properties come within purview of section 6 of the transfer of property act you can simply understand that section 6 Uh, is also very relevant even in muslim law why it is relevant i why i am asking why i am uh, emphasizing on section 6 of the transfer of property act when i am engaging this muslim law We, you see law is very law is interconnected so it can't be taught you in isolation so that is why this muslim gift must be taught must be read with respect to common gift which is regulated by transfer of property act and this muslim law, muslim law regulates muslim gift so with the help of these two important law you can have better perspective about gift so that is why i am referring section 6 of the transfer of property act now come to third important element of gift that is delivery of possession the third important element is property must be delivered you see for a valid hiba competency of donor or subject matter alone cannot validate the gift unless property is delivered by donor to the donee for example you can understand this with the help of illustration with the help of example where a muslim x wants to make gift of his property he has made izab he has made uh, offer that he is going to transfer his property by way of by way of gift in favor of y mr y y is a doni declaration has been made by mr x in favor of y but property is not actually delivered by x in favor of y so mere declaration is not sufficient to validate the gift so the important thing is that not only declaration is necessary competency of parties Uh, is necessary but it is also necessary that party must be uh, property must be delivered by donor to the donee so unless possession over the property is delivered by donor to the donee the transaction would not be complete in eye of law hiba would not be complete in eye of muslim law so with the help of this slide i would like to explain you see i have divided this delivery of possession into two categories actual delivery of possession and constructive delivery of possession so you all might be knowing that property has uh, two component any you all might be knowing that property may be mobile property or immobile property tangible mobile tangible immobile property so tangible mobile property this is table this table uh, this table is example of mobile property if is this table is gifted by donor to the donee this can easily be transferred this can easily be delivered by donor to the donee can be shifted from one place to another place but suppose if this building this building is is an example of immobile property if muslim donor wants to make gift of his building his house so in that case that house cannot being immobile property can't be shifted from one place to another place so for that purpose he without actual delivery of possession he can make gift of his house in favor of donee actual delivery of possession is not necessary so you need to understand that possession delivery of possession may be divided into two categories actual delivery of possession and constructive delivery of possession where property can be shifted where property can be easily shifted from one place to another place so that property must be delivered by donor to the donee without actual delivery of possession of that property which can be easily shifted from one place to another place transaction would not be complete in eye of law but 
in case of immobile property immobile property can't be shifted easily from one place to another place in that case delivery of position is not necessary without actual delivery of position if donor has decided to make gift of his immobile property only by changing the name in, uh, in ownership title deed he can make donor can make a gift of his immobile property for example if a muslim uh, donor wants to make hiba gift of his house simply he can do that he can he can write a uh, he can execute a deed document by executing that document he can mention in that document that today onwards he has uh, relinquished he has surrendered his all claims in this house in this property and this house is being uh, and this mr x uh, muslim donor has gifted his house to y so this kind of statement this this Con the the content of that letter the deed the document would be treated as that he has made a gift in favor of doni in favor of y so doni after having that document having deed can claim that gift has been made by donor on the particular date and time donor transferred his property by way of this deed and he is uh, he, he is having that document so as i said Muslim law does not prescribe any specific format of hiba gift gift may be as i said gift may be oral or it may be in writing form why muslim law doesn't prescribe any specific format of gift you can imagine when law was being uh, evolved by islamic jurist at that time in those days neither uh, literacy uh, literacy rate was so high neither people were so literate so educated so because of that reason Muslim law did not emphasize on, did not give emphasis on right the registration of deed. So deed either may be registered or it may be in oral form. Even declaration can be made in the presence of two or three witnesses uh, by a Muslim that in the presence of Mr. X and Y, a Muslim donor has uh, make a declaration that he is going to make a uh, gift of his house, but. with the passage of time nowadays the do muslim law still muslim law has not prescribed a specific format that gift must be registered hiba must be registered contrary to this common gift which is regulated by transfer of property act must be registered if property is gifted by donor to the doni and the value of that property is more than 100 rupees law provides that the registration of that gift is necessary why because it might be people may misuse that thing so for that reason registration is necessary that so what is law on that point where value of any property which is uh, to be gifted by donor to the doni the value of that property is more than 100 rupees the gift would be valid only when the deed is registered gift is registered without registration of gift without attestation of gift gift would not be valid in iaf law in iaf transfer of property act on the other hand muslim law does not prescribe does not give emphasis on registration of hiba hiba may be registered or it may be unregistered depends upon the literacy of donor depends upon the intention of the donor if donor is not literate is not educated and if muslim donor wants to make a gift of his property or her property then she he or she should be allowed to make gift of his property or her property to to the doni so this is law on this point so you need to understand that actual delivery what in in what case property must be actually delivered and in what cases property cannot be actually delivered you i have already highlighted uh, these two important aspect of hiba where property can be easily transferred from one place to another place delivery of possession is necessary without delivery of actual delivery of possession hiba would not be 
complete in IF law. Constructive delivery of position inference can be drawn that that donor has surrendered his all claims in the property. So that is const example of constructive delivery of position. Well, so I was talking about uh, rule regarding Muslim gift hiba. So now you see, as I said, there are three important component of hiba. The first is competency of donor, second is formalities and third element is delivery of position. So this is the third important element delivery of position. These three things now come to this third important element delivery of position. This delivery of position has also two important component actually actual delivery of position and constructive delivery of position. So, actual delivery of position and constructive delivery of position which I have already highlighted. There you see there may be some problem if properties uh, of such a nature which cannot be transferred by way of gift and which cannot be shifted from one place to another place. So, or if a donor wants to make gift of his property in favor of donor and there is only one donor, then in that case there is no problem at all. But suppose if property is jointly owned, there are several owner of that property and property is jointly owned by several owners and if any if if any one of several owner wants to make gift of that property then it would be very difficult for doni to take possession over the property because doni has no idea that which property which part has been delivered which part has been gifted by donor to the doni for example you can understand this suppose if a muslim donor has four brothers and he has joint ownership in a property in a house if um, if Muslim donor wants to make gift of his one portion of his house in favor of Doni, the rule is that without partition, without identification, without identify the property, donor should not make gift of that property. This is the basic rule. But if donor makes a gift of one portion of his house where he lives, where he is right, one in one portion, and if objection is raised by by his other by his brothers that they 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 raise objection that uh, unless and until this property is divided among brothers donor cannot make a gift and donor has already gifted that property it would be very dif difficult for the donor to get possession over the property so in order to overcome that difficulty sunni sect sunni islamic scholars they evolved uh, different rule to overcome this kind of difficulty. So, you with the help of this slide I you can understand that gift is known as gift of Musha or Hiba of Musha. I since gift is English word and Hiba is Arabic word. So, uh, frequently I use this word. So, you must understand whenever I use this gift you must understand then we are talking about Hiba. So, gift and Hiba. So, you see Sunni law does not, you see Sunni law has evolved this doctrine, Shia law does not recognize, I means Shia Islamic scholars they do not recognize this gift of Musha, only Sunni law, Sunni sect and particularly Hanafi school has recognized gift of Musha. Musha is an Arabic word which literally means joint property, gift of joint property, hiva of joint property. If uh, property is jointly owned by several owners and Muslim donor wants to make gift of that joint property, so how, what should be the procedure, how Doni can get his share in that gifted property. Sia law is that Sia law on this point is very clear that if C, if donor belongs to Sia sect and the property is jointly owned, so 
सिया डोनर कैन मेक हीबा ऑफ दैट प्रॉपर्टी विदाउट पार्टीशन मूसा लॉ इज मीन्स दिस रूल इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल इन दैस के एट लीस्ट सिया डोनर विल हैव टू स्पेसिफाई हिज शेयर दैट ही इज गोइंग टू मेक गिफ्ट मेक हीबा ऑफ हिज ऑफ हिज शेयर टू द डोनी सो आफ्टर स्पेसिफाइंग द शेयर ऑफ property sia donor can make a gift so there is no problem at all in sia sect in sia law but hanafi scholars they evolved this technique to overcome that difficulty which may arise in uh, that property which is jointly owned by several owners so musha here literally means joint property gift of joint property you see Hanafi school says that Musha property may be divisible and Musha property may be indivisible. Musha means joint property. Joint property means they call it Musha. That is an Arabic word. Joint property. So Musha property may be divisible. Musha property may be indivisible. Musha indivisible. That that is example of stair, cinema hall. Suppose if. Uh, stair case is example of musha indivisible why that is musha indivisible suppose if house is jointly owned by several muslims and in that house there is a stair case if suppose if there are 24 steps in the stair if uh, that part of the house where where in stair case comes if that part of the house is gifted by muslim donor to the doni and if lower part of the stair is gifted by donor to the doni and upper half of the stair case will go to the another uh, muslim owner of the property then if division takes place then th that property may lose its utility the stair if that stair is divided if a stair is broken destroyed then that stair will lose its utility because the upper half of the stair would be use useless for for the owner of that property so in order to avoid that problem hanafi ideology hanafi school evolved this technique that in that case where property is of such a nature which can't be divided partition is not possible partition if partition is allowed partition if partition is allowed it may lose its identity uh, without making partition in that property hiba can be property can be gifted by muslim donor by muslim donor to the doni one thing which you need to remember that where property is musha indivisible property can be gifted without partition and it would be valid and you see they have been they have discovered this kind of mechanism they have discovered this kind of thing in order to validate the gift second important thing is that divisible property divisible musha musha divisible property which can be easily divided that property that joint property cannot be gifted by donor unless partition takes place meaning thereby firstly property must be divided party property property must be partitioned only then muslim donor is allowed to make gift of that musa divisible property musa divisible property example may be good example of musa divisible property is land garden so land is divisible how land can be divided suppose if a particular piece of land is jointly owned by several owners Uh, say four or five muslims are joint owner of a piece of land so that that there in that case partition may be easily their property can be easily divided suppose if 10 if four uh, there are five muslims and they are having possession over the property and the total area of the property is 10000 square feet so 10000 square feet each and every muslim will get 2000 square feet so after the division 
every Muslim will get 2000 square feet. So, in such a situation, property must be partitioned after uh, means I, after identifying the share of in that property, Muslim Sunni Muslim donor is allowed to make a gift of Musa divisible property. Otherwise, if without making division, if joint property is transferred by a Sunni donor, the transaction would be void. So, this is a uh, rule regarding gift of Musha. You can see Musha divisible, Musha and there, there is always confusion that Musha indivisible and Musha divisible. Musha divisible here means that joint property which can be easily divided where partition can take place, property which can be easily partitioned. So, land can be easily partitioned because demarcation a line can be drawn in that land. So, after making demarcation that donor is free to make gift of that property of his property. So, this is all about if gift of Musha, gift of joint property. Now, come to another aspect of gift that is known as Hiba bil evaj. Muslim law recognizes a very peculiar form of gift that is Hiba bil evaj. Now, just I want to explain this Hiba bil evaj with the help of this slide. Hiba bil evaj, evaj here that, that is Arabic word that is consideration, evaj here means consideration, gift with exchange. So, actual a valid and complete gift by donor to the donee, actual payment of consideration evaj that is known as evaj by the donee. What would be the legal effect? I have already highlighted this with the help of this slide you can see. Hiba bil evaj actually is a set of two, Hiba bil evaj is a set of two gift. First, this is a very peculiar form of gift where doni makes gift in favor of where donor makes a gift in favor of doni with a condition that doni will also pay something to the donor you see what is what i am going to uh, discuss this is very peculiar form why because gift is always transfer of ownership in a property without consideration Donor has to transfer his property by way of gift without consideration. If consider if <coughs> if there is consideration in that transfer, that transaction can't be treated as gift. Either it would be sale or exchange. If consideration is in form of money, then if money is paid in lieu of gifted property, then it would be sale. And that transaction would be regulated by section 54 of the transfer of property act section 54 talks about sale so one party who has gifted one, one party who has gifted his property after having some consideration in lieu of that gift that would be sale and then transfer of property then transfer of property act would be applicable muslim law would not be applicable why because consideration that property is transferred by donor to the donee after getting some consideration in lieu of that gifted property. So, section 54 would be applicable in that case, Muslim law would not be applicable. One thing which you need to remember and here donee, donee here donor would become seller and uh, donee will be treated will be treated as buyer of that property. So, you need to understand this difference between these two, how a hiba, how Muslim gift can be converted into sale, how Muslim gift can be converted into exchange, you need to understand that once consideration is paid by one party by donee to, to the donor, the moment money is paid by donee to the donor, at that very moment the hiba becomes sale and that transaction would be regulated by section 54 of the transfer of property act. Muslim law would not be applicable in that case. So, it is always um, gift is always made by donor to the donee without consideration and it is the consideration which affects the legality of that transaction it may convert into that hiba may be may be converted into a sale. If uh, some property is 
if property is transferred by donor to the donee in lieu of in lieu of property if property is delivered by donee donee to the donor in lieu of that gift that that gift it would be exchange property in lieu of property so ex, it would be not, it would not be treated considered as muslim hiba the moment property is gifted by donor to the donee and in lieu of gift donee also deliver some property that transaction would be treated as exchange and muslim law would not be applicable in that case the transfer of property act would be applicable section 118 of the transfer of property act i have already highlighted where consideration where average is some of uh, some property it would be exchange where consideration is money it would be sale and section 54 and section 118 of the transfer of property act would be applicable so this is very important thing which you need to understand hiba bill average the suffix which has been used in uh, this hiba bill average 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 means consideration once consideration is paid by donee to the donor it would be either sale or exchange so but important thing is that muslim law has also recognized this peculiar form of gift under muslim law so where ijab is made offer is made by muslim donor that is accepted by donee offer is accepted by donee and property is delivered it is complete hiba it is complete gift in i of law it is complete hiba in i of muslim law and the thing which i am going to discuss that is important and after this transaction if donee also pays something to the donor in lieu of gift that transaction in muslim law is referred as hiba bill average because average is some consideration is paid by donee to the donor the moment money is paid by donee to the donor in lieu of gift it would be sale not it would be another kind of not not gift in the in fact that transaction is sale not a gift the moment property is delivered by donee to the donor in lieu of gift in lieu of hiba at that very moment the transaction becomes exchange and it would not be considered as gift under muslim law so in that case the transfer of property act will come into picture and transfer of property act will regulate that transaction if money is paid or property is delivered so in fact transfer of property act will come into picture not muslim law will take uh, will regulate these two transaction so you need to understand this if uh, and revocation of gift is very important if do if any party to this transaction wants to revoke this transaction that would not be possible how as you all might be knowing that where money is paid by donee to the donor it would be sale so cancellation of sale is very tough task neither buyer nor seller is in position to cancel the deed because cancellation of sale deed is a very difficult task and that deed sale deed can only be cancelled by the court so sale deed as you might be knowing that if uh, cancellation of sale deed is very difficult task for the court and even cancellation of exchange is very difficult task for the court so you can't take back your own property if if uh, this kind of thing is involved in that case gift rio so far as rio occasion of gift is once property is gifted gift once gift is always it is said about gift is once gift is always gift once property is gifted by donor to the donee donor cannot take back his own property because donee has taken possession over the property so this is uh, one aspect of hiba and the important thing is that if average is involved if consideration is paid in terms of money or property then it would be sale or exchange and revocation of sale 
or relocation of exchange would be very difficult though it it can it can be cancelled by the court but in 99% cases sale or exchange is treated as valid transaction if all the ingredient of sale or all the ingredient of exchange are present in the transaction then even court will not help the party if part if party has come before the court so this is all about your hiba bi leverage and hiba bi leverage as i said now come to this next video relocation of gift question may arise that how a bill can be revoked and to what extent or how bill can be taken how um, gift can be taken back if donor who has gifted his property and wants to take wants to cancel his gift due to certain reason there might be several reason for that if donor is not satisfied uh, with the doni the conduct of the doni and donor wants to take back his promise donor wants to take back his gift then how he can take back so you see relocation of gift relocation of hiba there are two important things relocation before delivery of possession and relocation after delivery of possession so gift can be easily revoked as you all might it's very easy for the donor to revoke the gift when unless the property is delivered by the donor to the doni means meaning meaning to say that before delivery of possession donor has absolute right to take back his property property will revert back to the donor when if uh, delivery of possession has not been delivered by property has not been delivered by donor to the doni but once property delivered by donor to the doni that property can't be revoked or gift can't be revocation revocation after delivery of possession though i have you see with the help of this slide you can understand that i have i have classified into two categories revocation before delivery of possession and revocation after delivery of possession so there are two situations revocable gift gifts which can be revoked and those gifts which can't be easily revoked so revocation depends upon delivery of possession before delivery of possession donor can revoke his gift after delivery of possession the gift can only be revoked that gift can only be cancelled by the court how if a donor has succeeded in establishing the fact before the court of law that gift was made property was gifted by donor under threat under compulsion coercion there was a threat and due to that threat donor gifted his property to the doni if he succeeds in establishing the fact before the court court is convinced that gift was made by gift was not made voluntarily there was there was a threat caused by doni then in that case donor can take back his promise do donor can take back his property even after even after the delivery of possession so delivery of possession is one even uh, in case of delivery of possession property uh, gift can be hiba can be revoked second important thing is there are certain situations which have been identified by islamic scholars in muslim law that where gift cannot be revoked so i am going to highlight i am going to ex discuss those areas where gift cannot be revoked you can see on your, on your screen first gift is gift by husband to wife where gift is made by husband to his wife and vice versa if property is gifted by husband to his wife or wife property is gifted by wife to her husband then it becomes irrevocable and that property cannot be taken back by any party to the transaction why it actually uh, law presumes that due to natural due to natural love and affection where husband uh, has transferred has gifted his property to the doni uh, to the to his wife 
or do wife has gifted his property her property to her husband that uh, that property cannot be revoked cannot be taken back party should not be allowed second element where donor or donee is dead suppose if property is uh, gifted by donor to the donee uh, donee donor to the donee and donee dies then and legal heirs they have taken possession over the property say so it would be it would be very difficult for uh, the legal heirs to give uh, that property to hand over that property to the donor uh, and vice versa if donor dies then even in that case legal heirs are not allowed to take back where property cannot be identified where gifted property cannot be identified even that property cannot be uh, revoked that gift cannot be revoked for example suppose a muslim donor has gifted his golden chain to somebody else to the doni and doni uh, after uh, after getting that golden chain now he has converted golden chain into golden ring so it would be very difficult for the muslim donor to identify his own golden chain because doni has converted that golden chain into golden ring so identification of that property is very difficult so in that case that gift becomes irrevocable and it can't be revoked <clears throat> and the situation which has been identified under muslim law where gifted property is lost or destroyed where gifted property is destroyed or lost so in that case it would be very difficult to take back his prop to take back his gifted property so this is our all about your irrevocable gift this this these are examples are irrevocable gifts and where doni has transferred the property to another person this is another important area which can that hiba cannot be that hiba becomes irrevocable and cannot be uh, taken back by the where doni has transferred that property to any other person so if it is allowed then it would be very difficult for that person who has taken possession over the property uh, and the property uh, from the doni so this uh, kind of thing is also this is also example of irrevocable gift so revocation of gift revocation before delivery of possession revocation after delivery of possession and there are certain properties which once the once property is gifted by donor to the doni it becomes irrevocable and that gift cannot be that hiba cannot be taken back so i think uh, i have in this lecture i have covered the definition of hiba gift competency of parties is of kabul delivery of possession kabza and uh, essential element of gift essential element of hiba revocation of hiba hiba bil evas hiba sartu levas which is also very important in hiba hiba which is gift which is made with condition and so that is hiba bil evas and hiba sartu levas so muslim law also prescribe these two things so i have covered each and every aspect of this gift and i do believe that you all have understood the things which i have just discussed in this class if you write all these things in your examination in competitive examination definitely you will get success in your coming examination so thank you thank you all